guys let's see um, how can you write a hello world application using netride assembly language uh, here is this uh, simple uh, hello world script and first we have to define the global star uh, variable and there are two sections one is the text section and the other part is a uh, data section and in the data section uh, what we are doing is creating define the variables and it's to the values so here we need to print out the hello world um, two words so what we are doing is here we create a variable called hello underscore world colon and we are using db to store the string uh, this string as hello world and and we will we will require the length of this hello world uh, so what we are doing is we are creating a separate variable called length and colon and we are putting the eq as equal uh, to the uh, length of this variable hello world and we are using dollar uh, dash to uh, make the equation all the side to this uh, hello world and that is in the uh, section uh, data section uh, and after that uh, in the text section what we need is to one there are two objectives one is print the hello world on the screen and the other sec other part is uh, exit the program so uh, we can begin it with as start as a function or label and after that uh, here is the logic uh, how we can do the netroid assembler uh, code uh, so i will explain how we can do the printing print hello world uh, so here uh, there are three sections uh, one is this mov that is move that is uh, that's that's called instructors in assembly language and here is the rax that is called the registers in the assembly language and here there is a number this is basically this is the function number which kernel api call uh, we are calling this as a system calls um, there are several system calls uh, system calls mean uh, basically kernel api calls or commands like uh, those there are several commands we can execute likewise um, here these are the system calls um, so uh, i will give you some description regarding these three sections uh, otherwise you won't understand what is happening here so uh, here uh, there is there are all if you go to the system call table in this url shell is from and shell code system calls uh, there are several system calls for linux and here here are the here is the list and in the first section this this ex is a register i will explain what is ex and here we are defined rx so i will explain it a little bit later and in this section what we are focused on what are the system calls system calls uh, there are several system calls and here the system exits system fork and system write system read uh, these are the kernel api functions and here in each function it is related to one id like system exit is to one and system write is related to four and this this id is what we are putting in here so by uh, in here we as we have mentioned this is the right uh sys, sys underscore right kernel api key is related to one and what we need to call uh, the api function by this id and uh, here this is the sample uh, api call functions and 
in this in here we what we have is here are the parameters for this function uh, this is the parameter one and the parameter two and parameter three and if you take this this underscore exit function what we have used in the exit section uh, it has one parameter integer parameter and here is the return status if you just google about system exit uh, call function you will see what what type of parameter we should pass here and the other uh, call what we need is system write sys underscore there are three parameters we need to pass to the write function uh, and um, yes uh, uh, so so that is basically what is the system calls uh, what are the system calls and here you can see all the system calls uh, and now we need to look at what are the system call IDs for our Linux operating system uh, here is a demo one and so if you are going to this uh, folder use the include uh, and 64 linux GUA as and assembly and you can see there are a lot of uh, header files and there is file call uh, in uunistd.h and this is the universal header file and it includes uh, mainly the initial header files and if you take this file the simply uni std uh, underscore 64 this 64 bit operating system so if you view this uh, this yeah, you can see that table reference and what are the IDs related to the API system calls. Um, if you take the tweet file as sys underscore right and here it is related to ID 1. So we when we call in this write function we need to pass as the ID as the 1 and the other one is we need to exit like we need to call exit so we can look circuit and here it's its id is 60 so this is very important and we need basically here what we are doing is calling this id for a, instead of calling directly this function um, and the others other part is uh, this more instructors and what are these registers or x so here if we are going to this url and there is a reference uh, about android assembly quick reference cheat sheet and here there are basically they have mentioned what are these uh, rx and eax and ax and ah and a so uh, basically rx these these are all the register registers and basically in rx it is defined for 64 bit registers and eax and this those registers are defined for 32 bit and a a c d b and likewise these registers are defined for 16 bit and a b a c d uh, registers are defined for 8 bit characters so mainly we are defined the character length bit length here so we are using the 64 bit length and if you see these all the register definitions uh, what we have used is rax for the first one and values are written from function in this register so Mm, as you already see you now for the right API call, there are three parameters we need to pass, pass. 
four parameters. The first one is the EAX. So here they have you use the um, 32 bit registers EAX, but what we have, what we are here, what we are using here is 64 bit. So we are using R RAX, RDI, RSI, and 64 bit long registers. So uh, we are using RAX as the system call API API uh, ID and uh, instead of this EAX so uh, according to our table and we are using the right API so we are using as ID as one and, and the second parameter is we need to use for the right uh, EBX and the file descriptor and the characters and the size of the characters so these to, to these three parameters um, if you um, search about the system right uh, API call function uh, you here uh, system call you can see there are three parameters or arguments first one is file descriptor and that is the there are three values 0 1 and 2 for stand, if we can put 0 for the standard input and standard output it is 1 and the standard error we need to write then we are putting 2 so what we need here is putting a standard output so we are put the 1 for file descriptor and we need to show the hello world so uh, and uh, so the RDI section, if this section we are using the one, yes. and we are we have used the RDI register of RAX uh, because uh, here uh, RDI, if you see, it's kind of register for function argument for. for always for the first argument we are using the RDI register and the second argument we are using RSI register and for the other parameters we are using RDX scratch registers so that's how we have put RAX, RDI, RSI and RDX uh, I think it, it is clear and, and for the third parameter we need the hello world string uh, character array what we define in the data section so we are pu we are putting this hello world in the rsi register and as the right parameter the last parameter uh, the length what we need to pass here so the size section and um, we have passed the we have already taken the length of the char characters so we have passed it here and finally we are calling we are executing this api call uh, by using sys call and likewise in the exit section uh, we are following the same process and, and here and the move instructors uh, here if you go to the yeah, this section in network assembly quick reference if you check yeah there are basic instructions more push pop call like this and for the more more its purpose is to move the data between registers load immediate layer in registers and the memory so that's what is uh, happening with these uh, instructors so in here what we doing is uh, for the summarize we are called the system right uh, kernel api and we are passing the hello world string and the file descriptor and the hello world string and the length and we execute that function uh, likewise in the exit section we need mainly rx and the rdi registers as the first argument 
and if you check this is the exit function is return status we can put it as zero and for the id uh, as we have seen here in this table uh, it is 60 so we have put the 60 and call the system x kernel api function here okay so that's basically simple hello world uh, script in network assembly language so let's see and first uh, we need to we need to convert this uh, nasm or network assembly script uh, to the 64-bit object file so what uh, we can call the nasm and but as a language and dash f elf64 hello world in asm output file is hello world dot o and once execute it it will create object file and after we create object file we need to combine it to a binary binary file and yeah in here yeah, we, we are bind it by ld the link uh, ld is ld we can bind it uh, by using this is the jnu link file and here we can combine this all the object file into the binary file using this ld and uh, how we can do it is uh, ld hello world object dot o output file is hello world so basically what we are doing is though this hello world object file make it to a uh, executable file in linux and so we've done it with compile and we will get the hello world file so here it and yeah is the hello world uh, basically this is this is uh, how we can generate the hello world and also uh, we have to install uh, nasm and build essential uh, linux library file to do this process uh, okay guys that's it thanks